Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we are building 5 cylinder radial engine model kit from enginediy.com. So this is, is what I call a model kit for everyone. It does not require any kind of sophisticated tools and comes in this nice tin box. However, model is not really cheap and most likely will be purchased by aviation enthusiasts. But if you are willing to treat yourself or looking for a nice business partner gift, this could be a nice option. I personally have not paid for my review unit and this review is only made possible with help of EngineDIY.com. So every single part in this box is nicely organized and protected with dense foam. So parts should be taken out from the slots only when they are needed for assembly. Model kit consists mostly of cast aluminium parts, with exception of few machined aluminium pieces and screws. And because this model is articulated, I cannot forget about LiPo battery, motor and charger. All the mounting hardware is also nicely organized and labeled. Only thing that is not included is some sort of grease, and it is really important when making model with moving parts. So it will be it for introduction, and let's proceed with assembly. And to be completely honest, assembly is really straightforward. Because engine consists of 5 cylinders, we will be repeating steps quite a lot. At first, I tried using included tweezers and other tools, but they were just not good. So I opted for my own tools, just something to keep in mind. Because kit does not include any kind of grease, I'm improvising and using grease for bicycle chain. This kind of piston and connecting rod assembly has to be repeated for a 5 times. It is really important to carefully follow the instructions, because pieces might not be the same even if they look so. So I think you got the general idea for the assembly. From this point I will leave you with the video rolling and I will share my final thoughts at the end.
So this is our finished 5-cylinder radial engine model. It will be a beautiful room decoration. But I really hate that noise it makes when it's powered on. I think by the design of such models, it is really hard to make articulated model that is quiet. Also, from the replica point of view, I'd like to see a more precise and authentic details. Because it is really hard to fool yourself when you see this kind of bolts and nuts being exposed and pretending to be some functional engine piece. And I personally think if they used real wooden propeller, it would be a better solution, because now we have cast aluminium piece. And that's simply not something you'd expect from such model. So these are the main cons, but I can't really forget about very pleasant assembly experience. Unlike our traditional plastic model kits, this is more similar to LEGO or Gundam experience. However, price tag of $450 is definitely not for everyone. Thank you for watching and see you soon in my next modeling episode.